Jorn Spedition is the founding shareholder of the Cargo Line Logistics Network and, at the same time, operator of the General Cargo Corporation. The company has more than 50 mobile handheld terminals which are used for the barcode detection of incoming and outgoing consignments. Most of them are mainly in use at night. During the day, two-thirds of the devices take a rest and are charged for the next shift. But you won't find heaps of messy cables and a confusion of sockets and power supply equipment at Jorn Spedition. Instead, three clean, lockable metal cabinets, designed to take 20 scanners each, stand in the warehouse office. The devices hang neatly from robust terminals and are powered by a central transformer. This is a solution with multiple advantages. It most certainly saves space compared with what we had before. The devices are protected in specially customized dust-type cabinets where they are also charged. The cabinets can be locked so that not everyone has access to the scanners. Another advantage, the energy efficiency of three central transformers is significantly higher than with individually switched power supply equipment. TIS GmbH came up with the idea of having cabinets as a solution and of introducing a new generation of mobile hand terminals in parallel. Jorn Spedition uses the Motorola MC9590 model. Alongside the hardware, TIS also delivered all the software. We have collaborated with TIS for many years now, and our work together has always been good. TIS has a well-developed support system for the technical field as well as for software. Our cooperation works seamlessly with both existing requirements as well as with completely new ones. New requirements include not only the cabinets, but also the new handheld terminals to be introduced in parallel for the business of Jorn Spedition and for cross-docking in the cargo line hub. Compatible emulation software by the name of Wavelink was also provided by TIS. Wavelink can communicate with cargo line's active logistics software and with Jorn Spedition's ERP cargo transport management system. How did the project go? The project was completed within a very reasonable period. It took only about three months from the initial requirements and detailed discussions for the first equipment to be delivered, which meant that we were actually using the first devices within this short time frame.